morning, good afternoon, good gold day to everyone. Can you guess what we're gonna go do today? You see what we're doing right now, we're walking into the woods, so I'm sure you can guess. We're gonna go down to a spot a little bit upstream from where I've been working some bedrock before and see what we can find. Beautiful day out. Picker's doing his thing, checking out the area. Picker Petey, we should say. Alright, let's get down there and see what we can find. Oh, before I forget, we're almost at the thousand subscriber mark. And if you've been watching my videos, you know there's gonna be a giveaway. If you're new to the channel, we're on the east to west coast gold rush. We're in California now. We got some really good spots, so we're gonna be giving away gold concentrates from pans from the Yuba River. Now, not only myself am I gonna be giving my pans, but Mark and another fella too. That's three guys worth of concentrates. That's gonna be a lot of gold. Make sure you get in on that. And also, I know there's some young folks out there watching my channel. I know a few of my boys, friends, my boys, my buddy's kids. Soon, I'm gonna do a contest solely for the young fellas to try to get these guys into prospect. We're gonna do a gold giveaway with maybe a pan set, something like that. A little kit to get you started. Depending on where you are, maybe I can give you some tips on spots to go. Just another little heads up. To give you guys an idea of how high the water gets here, straight across right there in that bedrock where you see that sand right there, the water was up here. You can kind of see the line right there. Now this is a big river. It's probably about 60 feet across, I'd say. And it's low and it's rushing pretty good right now. So imagine the water pressure that's coming through here. Hold on, I think we're almost there. Spot I really want to look at. Now that on Google Earth, it looks really good. We're only about 10 minutes off of now. Let's get there, quick. I'm gonna show you, even though the water is a lot higher and you think the gold wouldn't be moving there, right behind that big rock was a line of black sand. a butterfly. I usually have good days when there's butterflies. <laughs> well, we're almost there. I just noticed a little bedrock patch down through the trees right there. It's right on an inside bend. I can see a lot of uh, black sand built up behind it. So we might be coming back to this spot. We're gonna go check that other spot out and then we're gonna come back and probably. Alright, so we finally got out here. That spot right there on the inside. That's what I want to go check out. Let's get down there. And right there, that big bright white thing is a big piece of quartz. On the other side of the river, as usual. Comes out right there. Hold on. I think we're almost there. This is a spot I really want to look at. Looking at it on Google Earth. It looks really good. We're only about 10 minutes off of it now. Let's get there. Quick. Yeah, that's this. You have a butt beanie? This bedrock looks pretty nice.
Well, cleaned out some cracks over here, and it's just straight sand. Didn't get anything over here. Went back over there, moved over a couple feet where there was some rocks, and I got five little specks. So, me and Petey were both wrong about this spot, but we figured out a little bit of uh, information on the river. There is lots of black sand up here, but it's that. It's just uh, sand, and the black sand is very fine. The gold I was getting, well, the black sand around the gold I was getting, I should say, downstream was a lot coarser black sand, which would be down closer to the pastry. Stuff up on the sides here is uh, it's very light material, and there's lots of pyrite. So with the pyrite's way up here, good chance it's not too heavy sitting around with it, especially if there's no actual gravel, just sand. So I think we're going to move downstream a little bit, maybe check one other spot on the way back. If not, we're going to move back over to the other spot, because there's a lot more crevices over there too. This is a different bedrock, although it's a cool look. Lots of nice little pockets. There's nothing really in it. So we're going to move on. It's part of Prospect. Alright, so I decided to stop back down on that big gravel bar, as you can see behind me. Okay. I'll show you what I got. Not far down in the hole at all. It's a good size. It's only one piece. But it's a good size piece. So it's got me intrigued. And I'm going to show you why I'm in the spot that I'm in. So that's the little piece. As you can see, it's a good size little piece. And I'm only that far down in the hole. I just got to the good looking material. This big rock was sitting there. It moved. I don't know how it moved, but it moved. So, I'll show you why I'm here. And this is a big inside bend here, coming in. The bedrock that I was back on would have been way up there where all that sand is. Okay, so I'm a little bit lower here. The river gets a lot wider. It's probably about 100 feet wide here, all together from side to side. So, the water would have been up, up here, probably the other day. So, the other spot had no gravel, this one has tons of gravel, but if you look over on the side, way over in the corner, there's some really small rocks, and I get the medium rocks, and there's a line right here, tight to the inside bend, of really big set, you know, good sized rocks, and they're heavy, and they're all right in a line. You can see there's bigger rocks here, and it starts to get smaller and smaller, there's a couple big ones up there, but up there they're really small. So there could be better gold at the end of this gravel bar. Could be in the middle, could be at the beginning, who knows. But we're gonna check it out. All right, well, before I get too far ahead, I was up on that gravel bar, up on that corner last. But after that next pan, I didn't really get much. So I'm down on this bedrock, right in the direct flow, right into here. And I just did one pan out of over there. I got that. So I got another pan full of stuff out of this hole here. Looks pretty good. Go we'll pan it out. Let's see what we get. Well, I broke my tripod, so I'm gonna have to pan it out and then I'll show you what I get if I get anything. Alright? Well, I went a little further down. That's all I really got out of that crack. So I'm gonna go down closer to the river, do one more pan, and then I'm kinda running out of time. So I'm gonna go down over there. Where it's all blurry. Alright. Alright, well, I think we're gonna head out. I might stop at that original spot where the two rivers meet. But I'll show you what I got for a couple pans. Kind of bouncing around a lot. We did a lot of walking today too. So I'm happy with what I got. It's more than what I would have got if I didn't go out. So I'm gonna get it that way, right? But I'll show you what I got. We're gonna hike out. We might stop at the other spot if we have enough time by the time we get back there. And uh, alright, we'll talk again then. So that's what I got. A bunch of little stuff. Nice little flake, and then I get the other flake from the gravel bar and the original five specs, but 
I sucked them up at the bottle instead of keeping them in the pan. And I got all the Cali gold in there, so. But we'll do uh, an outtake of all of it together at some point in this video. Well, we're back up in the van now. By the time we hiked out and Petey stopped every two seconds to sniff something, it was getting kind of late. I gotta figure out what's going on for tomorrow. But we did get a little bit of gold, so it's better than that. Like I said, it's more gold than I would have got just sitting around. Um, we're definitely gonna be taking a trip up to the Yuba this weekend. The weather is beautiful, the water is dropping. Um, should be a pretty good trip. So I'm looking forward to that. We might go mess around over in uh, the other spot there and if I end up having any time, that is. So thanks for coming along and seeing some stuff and checking out some new spots with me. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks.